Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Duskers. We have uh, gone past the intro stage and we're in the wide open universe. And it's dark, it's lonely, and it's pretty dangerous. Uh, we're in a new sector and we are going to board the Manji lot. And we also found a new drone, Jen, over here with only 70 uh, health, but, well, that's always nice for scrap. However, I'm not going to do that just yet, because you can see that I'm at 40 scrap and 50 is maximum. However, the first thing I usually do with my scout drone, with my gatherer, is increase the speed. It really helps. You can uh, evade quite a, well, not quite a few enemies, but the patrol bot, at least. And sometimes even the swarms, if you're very careful. So I'm going to do that, I'm mean, going to increase the speed. And anything else I want to do? No, not yet. The remote power we have, that is going to be extremely useful. So let's board the ship with our three drones. Let's also take the trap off. Alright, medical A, that's gonna be a big ship. And two different infestation types for the first time. Dormant drone found in room number two. Excellent. Jeb, this is the message from the emergency relays, forwarding in its entirety. I had to let the bodies go. I had to get them off the ship and minimize the risk of infection. I've relayed the situation to all ISHO outposts. Hopefully they can get the data that I need to understand the pattern and stop this from spreading further. I need to get to my lab. We don't have much time. Dr. J. Holmes. And our computer is saying, linking with theory index pandemic, infection and bodies suggest further inquiry. ISHO cross-reference, International Space Health Organization. Recommend courses, uh, course of action, investigate medical communications for further data. Okay. Let us begin. This is gonna be a big ship. Big ship indeed. Alright. Oops. I'm used to doing, uh, the GAT. Uh, command because it all scans, but of course we don't have a scanner just yet. Ooh, there is an interface here. I like that. Go, Fat Fab. Go, go, go. Yes, defense. Oh, nothing happened. Oh, it's in this room. Oh, that is perfect. Look at this. We already know that there's a turret here, which means D16. D37, lucky winner, D40, D32, D36, D31, D28, yes, <laughs> go my children, go into room R2, <laughs> oh, lovely, I like to be in drone view when uh, I'm waiting for enemies to be killed because you get the lovely sound effects, let's do that, now we are only getting that this room down here is fine so we can go there all right now these doors are closed that's good you can see how much faster our drone is now unfortunately there's no scrap here and there doesn't appear to be anything else coming into that room I think by now it would have now don't do my mistake that I did Oh, that was a... Uh, as you can see, the d door D31 is blocked, which means an enemy was coming out of that room into room R2 and um, got destroyed by the turret before it could even clear the doors. That often happens. Usually, anyway, when you do, you know, when you do a strategy like this. So all these rooms should be clear because by now, enemies should have, you know, walked or crawled or slithered or whatever into that turret room. So I'm going to turn off the defense, never do my mistake, and forget to turn off the turret. It's really bad. Not only are you going to be... Uh, you're going to jump, uh, but you're also going to lose a drone. Ooh, there's another turret here, but it is unpowered. So we'll have to find a generator to power it. Now I'm going to open D13, navigate 3 to R2, and uh, tow it. So three and navigate three to R1. What's over here? Nothing. I'm going to preemptively uh, close the doors behind that. So, you know, my other drones are always isolated from the exploration drone just to be on the safe side. 
I mean, to leave Bishop here. Okay. Right. There's a few, a little more scrap here. These were both uh, patrol bots, so there is something else on the ship. Not just patrol bots, but an actual infection of some sort. That was nice. That's quite a lot. Now we can uh, remotely power room R13, which I'm going to do. But first, let us check all the rest of the rooms here. Nothing here. Alright, that's good. And nothing here. Now I'm going to initiate motion tracking. What I will do here is close... Oh, I can't close those doors. No. I would have liked... Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to close uh, D37 and open D19. And when I see that room R6 is clear of hostiles, I'll close a door 19, knowing that the enemy is in room R8. And then I can hide my uh, drone number one somewhere, like in room R13 and uh, initiate the turret. There we go. There. Now it's in room R8, and I'm going to navigate 3 to R4, navigate 1 to R13. <clears throat> we can also flag our room R8. There we go. So we know that there is, a, there is an enemy in there. Let's close D40, interface 3, turn on defense, and open D37. Welcome! Please join us. Join us. Go on. And three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> I like it. Defense is deactivated. So who came for a tea party? Oh, yeah, there we go. That is the leaper enemy. Or whatever it is. It's pretty horrible. This is the, the one horrible, really horrible thing that I... Well, actually, I hate all enemies. The, the patrol bots are the easiest. They have a turret. Uh, but these things... Oh my god, you do not want to meet these things without expecting them. They are horrible. They really are. Oops, so let's flag uh, R8 there. Now, what else is here? Now, unfortunately, those leapers uh, often do not leave anything behind when destroyed, which is, well... Unfortunate, but that's how it goes. Uh, hmm. I don't know if there's anything in room R5. I don't know. Now, what we can do is remotely power R13. Bleep. Check that out. This is a big ship. Now, <clears throat> because we have a... Uh, oh, it's not powering. I'm going to close that door. I don't like open doors in rooms I haven't explored yet. Oh. Potential asteroid collision in 5 minutes 47 seconds. Room R8 and R6. R8 has a pretty darn big chance of getting an asteroid hit. Uh, I'm going to get one back there and seal off room R9. Because I do not want... Um oh, shit! Crap! Damn! That's all blocked. No, 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 no. This enemy is blocking the doors. Oh no, all of these rooms are gonna get flooded. So room R2, R8, and R7 are all going to be flooded, and R6 can be hit as well. Well, that, it's not a huge issue because we've already uh, scanned those rooms, and they're, they're not critical to our success now. However, it's also going to flood room R11. Oh no. And that's the room where we would be collecting a lot of scrap. I could try and be quick now, but... <clears throat> Oh, damn. Okay. That is empty. Actually, before I do this, let's open D44. See if there's an enemy that comes out into room R14. If it does... Come on. You gotta be patient here. Unfortunately, as we can see, uh, in five minutes, there's an asteroid coming and it's a pretty good chance it's going to hit room R8. And, uh, yeah, we're going to lose the option of uh, herding enemies into room R11 and destroying them. Which it doesn't matter anyway. Okay, that, that room is clear. Uh, which doesn't matter really because... Let's see, room R uh, R15. It doesn't matter because, um, well, it's not powered right now anyway. We would have to find the generator. 
Anything in room R15? I'm guessing not. I'm getting a little impatient because I want to be quick before this bloody asteroid, but I guess I shouldn't really be. Alright. I'm going to say those uh, two rooms are clear. Now, if I'm wrong, it's going to be bad. And we might lose our drone. So, D20. That's clear. Oops. There's, no, there's another interface here. Another ship upgrade. Unfortunately, this one, as you can see, is firmly uh, locked in place, so we cannot get it. And this one, I believe, is destroyed. Yep. One is uh, destroyed, and one is firmly installed. There's actually a lot of upgrade slots here. Three of them, yeah. Not bad. We could get this ship. If, uh, of course, if... Uh, uh, Um, but unfortunately we won't be able to, because when an asteroid hits, uh, ships you commandeer cannot be filled with radiation, and they have to be empty of enemies. So, let's see, I'll have to, oops, I won't be going through room R2 now anymore, I don't trust it, so I'm going to dock with A2. Wait a second, R6 is also, also has a chance of getting hit. Oh, man. Okay, let's go there. We'll get another warning before the actual impact. Uh, 43, 44, A2. 3, 2, R15. Go. Alright. D43. Alright, we're safe. For now. Actually, wait a second. Anything here we can do? Probably not. Yeah, just defense and that's it. Alright. What about motion? Damn, we don't see anything there. So I'll have to... 1R14. R5. Let's go. What? Navigate 3... Oh. I thought I opened it. What did I open? Nothing. D4 I tried opening again. Right, so can I do motion from here? No, it still doesn't work. Damn. That really sucks. That really sucks. There we go. 59 seconds. Yeah, room 8 is gonna be hit. I'm not so sure about room 6. Alright, what do we do? What do we do? Let's see. Uh, I don't have a sensor. That would be quite handy to have. Let's go over here and do another motion. Now what I can do is open uh, there, door 33, and see if anything comes into room 12. If not, room 11, uh, 18 is clear. But we'll see. Nothing. Okay, nothing so far. Let's also open door number 18. Now, the problem with this now is I don't have, you know, any information about room 16 or 15, if there's anything in there. Now, if... Whoa! Holy crap! Has been destroyed... Yeah, look at this. Everything is now flooding with... Oh, door 37 has closed! Oh, awesome! Door 37 has closed. Because... Wait, room 2 has been exposed? What? Oh yeah, only momentarily. Never mind. Um... Um, door 37 has closed because the asteroid actually destroyed the enemy that was in, you know, between the doors, so that's good. Alright, room 6 and R8 are now off limits because not only would our drones get sucked out of there, they would also get radiation damage, which is, uh, it destroys them pretty quickly. Alright, so I'm going to assume that room 16 and 18 are clear now. 18 is definitely clear, but 16, I was saying, 
If there's an enemy in 16, it might start wandering into 15, but then go back to 16, and so on and so forth. It might still be there, but we're assuming, oh, you know, because the doors are open and it's not coming into um, room uh, 14, uh, it's not there. However, I'm just going to assume that it's clear. And I'm going to take the plunge. Now I'm going to have D21 command at the ready, so I can quickly get back there or try to, if I can, get out. But, as we can see, it's fine. We're fine. Now, D14 should be clear as well. If it's not, I'm going to hate the game forever. Alright, this is all clear. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, this is a pretty good place to do another motion detection. And you bastard! It's still not giving me any information where I actually want it. Alright. Fine. Be that way. Alright. Okay. We'll do just this. You know. Open D35. Actually, open D10 first. That tiny little room. Close this. And then, if there is something that goes into room R18, I'll just herd it into room 12. I don't know why I keep saying room R13. That's what the R stands for. Room. It's like saying, I want an SSD disk. Okay, so we want a solid state disk disk <laughs> or solid state di drive disk. Anyway, um, nothing seems to be in room 19, which is good. But the game can be quite punishing if you're not patient. It often happened that I said, okay, there's nothing in room R19. Let me just do this first and then I'll move my uh, drone number one. And while I was doing that, suddenly something crept into room R8, uh, into room 18, you know? So if I hadn't waited just a little bit longer, I would have waited right into enemies. But no, the uh, room 19 is free. What about room 17? So yeah, this is... A oh, hello there. Let's uh, make you a nice little cozy home in room 12. That was very quick. That was probably a patrol bot. The... The leaper enemies, those other ones you've seen, the, the ones that are not purple, those are very slow and lumbering to uh, enter and leave rooms. Alright, I'm going to assume there's no more enemies here. It's, it's extremely rarely that you'll see two enemies. Uh-oh, that's a vent. I don't like vents, because they are where swarm enemies spawn. And swarms are horrible. They're probably... Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, most enemies are horrible, but swarms are probably the deadliest. And... What is that? Is that the swarm? Or is that just a... I don't know. I don't know, it sounds like it. I really don't know. Let me, let me see if anything comes out of that room. Now, the problem with swarms is that they're one of the few enemies that will actually attack doors. And uh, if you leave them attacking the doors for too long, they will destroy the doors and get you. And I've just noticed I can do something else as well. Let's dock with A1. And... Uh, that's a really cool sound effect. Let's uh, destroy that enemy while we're at it. Also, let's open door 11. I want to see if there's anything that comes out. So, defense. And open D32. And listen to the lovely, lovely sound of... <laughs> lovely. I like it. All right, that's good. Thank you. So this is this is quite the conundrum here now. We don't know if there's anything in those rooms. We really don't know. And those swarms are horrible. Absolutely horrible. I'm going to assume they're empty. However, the nasty thing thing about vents is that they won't give you a warning. You know, they will just spawn the swarm and that's it. So let's get all this stuff. Come on. Come on. Don't be silly. Nade. Nade. 
There you go. Wasn't that difficult, was it? Alright, so the thing with swarms is what I like to do is have an escape route like this. An escape route where I know I have quite a bit of ways to be able to run because with the speed upgrade I'm slightly faster than the swarm. So I can back away far enough that I have a bit of a gap between me and the swarm and then close the doors. If I'm lucky. If I'm not, well, that's a different story. Alright. Let's see. This is so creepy. Okay, okay, there's nothing here. Good. Alright, now because we have another generator there, I can't also remotely power it. I'll have to unpower it. Wait, 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 wait. Why did I not close those doors? I don't like leaving doors to vent areas closed. In fact, I'm going to close everything. Now. Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Airlock 3 is no longer responding. That's not good. That's kind of my only way out right now. Well, sort of. Um, so, I'm going to unpower room 13 and all of the rooms that it was powering and power room 20. Now, because I've already used remote on room R13... R13... R13 <laughs> room R13, I'm still saying R. Um, I've already sort of damaged the upgrade, if you like, you know? It's not going to damage any more, so I can use it as much as I like now because I've already used it. There's no reason not to. Uh, what I mean to oh, for frick's sake, look at this. Are you serious? I have to basically... Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know what I'm gonna do, actually. It would be nice to just herd anything that might be there into room R11, but I'll never know whether I've actually successfully herded it or not. This sucks. This will suck. Uh, there's an enemy here. Uh, there is something there. I don't know what it was, but I don't like it. I think it was another uh, patrol bot. Another patrol bot. Great. So both 21 and 22 have patrol bots in them, or I think they're patrol bots. Okay. What we're going to do is do some blind herding. Now this doesn't usually work very well, but. We'll see. Now the patrol bots are, um, come on, hopefully it's gone in now. The problem is, I don't know if it's gone into room 19. If it has, it's fine. If it hasn't decided yet, that's it's still in 21. Or if it's gone into 19 and already come back. So the only way to, oh, this is not good. Ooh. Okay, it's gone. Okay, it's in that room now. Good. So I can do defense. And then open D30. Oh wow, we've activated three defenses? Where? There must be another one in room 23 then. I'm going to open 24. That's the only room where... There could be a... A turret then. I mean another turret. Well? Where the hell? Where else would it be then? That's the only place where it could be. I've checked room 10, haven't I? Yeah, I have. Oh, I've lost video signal for drone 3. There we go. There we go. And now we're fine. We've uh, killed all the enemies on the ship. Yeah, for some reason, uh, as you can see, there's only like a speck now. Um, seems to be a bug. The, uh, the patrol bots are not showing. The only way I know they're patrol bots is they've got that particular, um, you know, color scheme. Purple-ish. Alright, and there's nothing else we can get here, so we're done. That was quite, uh, a larger, elaborate ship. Alright. Righty. Let's also close this, just so I feel a little better. And we're ending this, because we've done everything, pretty much. I'm sure there's probably some scrap left somewhere. Um, but... Oh, wait a second, what about that upgrade? No, that upgrade is... That one's destroyed, and that one is permanently installed. So, if I wanted to commandeer this ship, um, it might have, you know, less scrap 
than our ship. But actually, no, this is a medical. Uh, I don't know. It's got three upgrade slots, which is always nice, but it might have less maximum scrap. However, we cannot uh, commandeer it now that, you know, because even though we did destroy all the enemies, um, these rooms are flooded with radiation so there's nothing we can do but we have quite the bounty lots of scrap and two drones so let's exit conditions seem favorable to commandeer yeah i cannot all right nice there we go 13 scrap and well two drones a very very good day thank you very much for watching and i'm gonna see you next time Bye bye